You know about the things. Uh, hello, dear. How do you do? You don't see me. What? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Today, we return after maiming ourselves on that darn thing right there. Oh my god, that was horrifying. But we do return, and as we do, things are looking pretty freaking good, yeah? Would you guys agree with this? Would you agree with this? Now, you guys were leaving some comments. Uh, also, we're gonna be working on the auger today. All right, I wanna finish putting this thing together and put it together with some of the really nice stuff. We have also gonna do some engine replacements here that kind of demonstrate different max outputs. That's pretty good, but here's what I'm wondering, right? So, hmm. Some people were saying, I don't know if this is true, if there's a way to do this, but apparently there might be a way for me to use the excess power for my generator bank to charge batteries in the in the battery bank? I don't know. Don't quote me on that. That's just something I heard. Maybe I heard wrong. Who the hell knows, right? Uh, see journal tip for more info. Okay, is there more info about the battery bank? Power your electrical components, one battery. Uh, determined by the number of batteries installed and their quality. Uh, turn on battery bank. An externally powered and turn on battery bank will recharge its batteries. If there are no batteries installed, it acts as a relay pushing power down line. Oh, so I wonder. Oh, oh, I think that means we could actually take our wire tool here and do some pretty big improvements. So if you excuse me, I got to go rope-a-dope this through the entire freaking house. Oh, mama. And we might be able to connect it to the battery bank. Ooh. And what that allowed to do is I think it can charge the batteries with extra output or stuff. I don't know. But I think that it acts as a relay. So worst case, we could use it as a relay, and that's going to send some power along. So that's actually really awesome. I am going to have to organize my inventory a little bit here. Don't worry. We will get to doing that. And also probably to sell on a couple of our things here. Along with that, I'm thinking I really do want to go visit that mountain town over there that we kind of caught a glimpse of. I don't know what it was, but it looks like there's some interesting stuff in the mountains, to say the least. And I like me some interesting stuff. But before that happens, I want the auger to happen. So for the auger to happen, we need handlebars. And for handlebars, it shouldn't be too complex. Duct tape, leather, mechanical parts, and short iron parts. All of those things we should be able to get rather easily. I just got to go ahead and toss a couple things away. And what did I say I needed? Okay, so we got to get some duct tape. There should be some duct tape. Boom shakalaka right there along with duct tape. We need leather. Boom shakalaka right next to it. After that, we need mechanical parts. I'm sorry, you guys' ears might be getting just uh, absolutely attacked by all of these opening and, no uh, opening and closing sounds. Is that a zombie attacking our base? I sure hope not, but there... We should have everything necessary. Let's make ourselves... Oh, there's the crucible, baby! There it is. We finally... We're gonna put that thing down. Then we're gonna start making some very good stuff. We got the mini bike handlebars. Uh, what else do we need? Handle... What? In tarnation? Can I not craft... Oh, we gotta craft handlebars first. Excusez-moi. All right, we gotta craft up the handlebars first. While that's going on, I'm gonna toss this crucible down here. And I would love to start making some steel because this crucible uh before we went on our like giant journey to reloot our first ever town we invested into this thing and now that investment is kind of sort of paying off we are a little bit low on clay which sucks because we got to make cement some of you guys were saying apparently there's a way in the cement mixer for me to actually utilize sand or something where i can use sand to turn into stone and uh, i can kind of like but it requires more stone so, I don't know, like, I could make sand out of sand, <laughs> if that helps, but it says, like, rocks only smaller, but I don't know what the hell that would do. Maybe I'm missing something, maybe not, but I don't think there's a way for me to go from sand back to stone. I can go this way. I don't, however, know if I can go the other way, which is gonna kind of be, I don't know, a pretty big deal. Uh, here we got the small engine. We, we know what else we're gonna tr probably try to do is actually get a second, not, is it a, yeah, second generator bank. Try to invest into one of these. We got just need to get a ton more parts. We should be pretty fine with that. We just got to put them together and whatnot. And, oh, okay. You know, screw the gas barrels. I'd rather craft up some of this stuff here. Uh, we got the handlebars back, though, which is good. 300 quality, not too shabby on that. If we can make the mini, but... Oh, no, we don't even need mini bike handlebars. We just need handlebars. We put them onto the auger. And boom, shakalaka, ladies. Look at that. 440 quality. We're taking this thing out for a test run right freaking now. We just got to reload it using the, our abundance of gas. This is why gas is so important once you get late enough into the game. It becomes your primary source of everything. But look at this thing. Look at it in the sun. Look at how gorgeous it is. Oh, mama. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> Cannot wait to get some use out of that chainsaw, too. Our chainsaw is pretty poopy, but it is intact, meaning we can slowly improve it. Also, I hope your guys' ears are prepared for what is to come. If you don't know about the infamous auger and the noises it makes, oh, 
You're in for a treat when this thing goes freaking ham! But look at that, though. Look at how quickly it is able to eat through all of this crap. This is way faster than mining it out. And you know what this means? That means if we have the gas for it, we are gonna be stupidly efficient. Oh my god, look at this efficiency, baby. Yeah, we're gonna be able, if we wanna build anything underground, easily able to dig it out. If we wanna collect, look, look at how quickly we're picking stuff up, all right? Pay attention to right there, okay? Just pay attention to that when we're attacking stuff. Do you see that? Do you just see how quickly it's popping up? Oh my god, that is insane. <laughs> so, my night times are gonna be a lot more productive. And you know what that means? That means that we're gonna get more stones and more sand to invest into cement. All we do, we do need some clay. Luckily, we do have quite a bit of clay, so the auger is a very fun tool. Thank you, auger, for making me realize how much I missed you. I haven't had an auger in like a couple of alpha seasons, man. It has been quite a while since I've been reunited with my baby. But now that me and my baby are back together. Oh, things are looking millhouse. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna start putting some of this stuff away. Uh, oil shells, I think we could slowly craft that into gas cans at a proper place, which is a chemistry bench. And, oh, is that a doggy horde? That is a doggy horde. Oh no. All right, generator bank. Let's turn you on, baby. And let's get the dogs to come over here. <laughs> come on, puppy. Come on, I swear. You got treats over here, I promise. I won't betray you like that. Oh, well, there goes one puppy. Sorry, puppy. Oh, stop breaking my damn door, will you? All right, I used that thing. How are you not getting a hit? He was too low in the ditch. But, uh, there you have our friend, the battery bank, or whatever you would like to call it, being utilized. And as you can see, it is utilized quite freaking well, yeah? Yeah, that just took out that little dog horde. Mini dog horde that decided to attack us. They thought, oh, we're gonna take out Star. He's never gonna know what hit him. Oh, I knew. Ooh, some bacon and eggs. I was feeling pretty hungry, and I'd love to start re-upping that wellness. And also, if we get our food high enough, we will slowly start to regenerate from the awful accident we suffered last time. I'd rather not talk about what that accident was. I don't want to relive the pain. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start putting a couple of these supplies away. Although, this is where it makes cement, right? Yeah, so I'm actually gonna start getting this going again. And from there, we don't have to smelt down sand here. Yeah, I'll just get some. Can I use this as fuel? I can! Boom shakalaka, baby! Oil shells are the new business that I'm gonna be using. Hell yeah, I'm not using gasoline. Hell no. But those oil shales, hell yeah, things are really starting to come on Millhouse. The next thing that I'm thinking I want to invest into is a chemistry branch. Unfortunately for that, we got to do it at one of these uh, places. But yeah, chemistry station is definitely the next logical step. We got to find a couple beakers, a burning barrel, some cooking pots. I think we should have a couple of those things. But uh, even if we don't, let's say quick inventory. Also, we're going to start here. We got some more electrical stuff we're going to start putting into. Uh, let me put away some of this stuff, by the way. All right, so uh, actually, I'm going to keep the wrench. You know what we're going to do when we do go to that new town or what I think is the new town? Also, that's a really nice pistol. I don't know if I want to sell it. These eyes, we'll keep this pistol around for a little bit. We do have another really nice pistol, though. I'll sell the slightly crappier one. I'll actually take a couple of these things off to go and sell them. SMG stays with me. That thing was very useful and saved our butt. Here we got the AK barrel and auger parts, though. Uh, luckily, I think our auger does have better parts than that. Yeah, so for now, I'm going to put the auger actually... To hell with it, I'm not putting it away. As long as it's reloaded, yeah, it's got 200 gas. That'll be useful if we want to break into anything. And let's be honest, I plan on breaking into stuff. It's kind of my favorite thing to do. But in the meantime, here we got some medical supplies. I will put the... Uh, we got to put one weapon away. Uh, I guess we could put away the auger until it's absolutely necessary. I'll keep the wrench with us, keep the auger. Some of this stuff we will go off to sell. I will put some of the coins away. Where the hell did I put the rest of the coins, eh? I don't know where I put them. Aren't they in the... Oh, they might be in the mini bike. Well, that's okay. I'll start putting the tokens away here. And I'll bring some... I don't think we need beers. Oh, I forgot about the shotgun slugs that we have. Things are looking pretty freaking millhouse. But anyways, this is what we're going to keep around a little bit. I'll sort it. We'll sell the stuff. We're going to go visit a trader. Try to make ourselves some nifty little profit. And take things from there. But yeah, I hope you guys are having absolutely a fantastic day. Me, it's a Friday. You know I'm enjoying it. Last day of class. Gonna get my videos done for the day, then I'm gonna go just sit back, relax, watch some TV, you know, do the usual exciting stuff that I do. Let's turn that off. We're still looking pretty good on fuel here, so that's good. Let's head on over. Let's see this place. What the hell? Do I hear zombies behind us? I think I do. Let's head on over to this place. Uh, I don't think I'm forgetting anything too important. 
I will try to prioritize the chemistry station, but in the meantime, I will keep my eyes out for burning barrels, because those are kind of oddly specific. I know I've had a burning barrel at some point in time. Problem is, I may have left it back at the old base, so I don't know. There's one right here, but we cannot pick it up, unfortunately. I would have loved to pick it up. Uh, do you have a new stock by chance yet, my friend? That'd be awesome. Can I pick this one up? No. Damn, can I buy a burning barrel from you? <laughs> I'm kind of desperate. Ooh, I should have started crafting some steel smithing while we were at it. Hey, Bobby! How are you doing? Oh, you know what else we should do? We should make the sniper way better. Check out this improvement we are about to do. Well, actually, first, we got to kind of disassemble a couple of these parts. So, we got to take out that, uh, which is the booty. And also, we got to take out the parts. From there, we can reassemble them back into this thing. Look at that, 371. It still doesn't do as much damage as the AK, though. Well, actually, right now it does a little bit. That's because the AK needs some repair. We'll work on that. Hopefully get some weapon repair kits to do it. But, you gotta admit, this thing is looking pretty freaking nice. And then, I'm just gonna sell our other stuff. It's not super worthwhile, but it's not too shabby. So, Trader Bob. Howdy. Thank you. I'm here to make one thing, and that's a little bit of profit. Thank you for the money monies. Uh, I'm keeping that one. Thank you for the more money monies. Oh, thank you for that money mo You don't want hunting rifles. Okay, screw off. Hunting rifles are very profitable. I will sell that to someone else. You're not interested in pistols either? What the hell interests you nowadays? God damn. 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 How could you do this to me, man? Anything good in your secret stash? 44 magnum frame. I don't think he's really improved on any parts here. He does have a... Better chainsaw. We could have bought that instead of the one that we bought, but tell with it. Back sometime. Yeah, I don't know, dude. After you disrespect me like that, not buying what I'm selling. I don't know if I do want to come back, but okay. I'm gonna drop off some of those things that he didn't want to buy. And then uh what is it? I'm also gonna get some steel smithing out of the uh out of the forge. Right, because I forgot to do that. I did have a ton of rocks and uh, brass being smelted down, but oh, that's because I forgot to smelt down the clay. And we got to put more clay into it. I might actually take out the brass or whatever we had and put the clay in instead. Because we do have a big, big stockpile of that. So sorry that we do have to do a couple of these small little details. But these details are going to be important for continuing to fortify our base. And eventually having our base surrounded in cement. Okay, reinforce. Oh, Jesus. What the, that, this like downed. This thing scared me. It made me think I was about to fall into the ditch. Also, the wires kind of sketched me out for some reason. But yeah, that's going to be really important for making sure that uh, we are able to... Expand the wall all around our base and be safe. So yeah, here you can see the clay. We gotta get some of that clay smelting down. I think I might go half seas on what we have here. Because we have a pretty big thing of clay. Yeah, we got... Eh. Yeah, I'll, I'll take half of the little... Here's the thing though, don't we need clay to make... Uh... No, we don't need clay for concrete mix, do we? Do we? Oh crap, now I'm second guessing myself. Cement? We don't need clay, right? Okay, just don't. Good, 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 good. I was getting really worried. Uh, to hell with it then. I'll just go with what we got here. I'll take about another half of that. We'll put that into the place. Here we got the crushed sand and whatnot. Oh my god, we got 6,000 crushed sand. I really hope we're gonna be able to make that into something useful. And that forged steel we've been stockpiling. Okay, but anyways, let's put away some of this other stuff that I don't intend on using. At least at this very moment. Put away some of the profit we got. Put away some of the pistols. And free up a little bit of inventory slots for us to, you know, do our fun. While we're at it, I can actually put away the 9 mil. Now that I think about it. Okay, look at that. We actually got like three entire rows of our inventory while feeling pretty safe. And we do have a little bit of time here. So things are looking good. Here's the thing. Uh, I see this sand. I wonder if maybe... Wait, can we even smelt down sand here? I don't know. I wonder if smelting sand down here counts as stone. Who the hell knows at this point? Let's put this clay in there, though. Look at that. They're right about neck and neck, which is actually surprisingly handy. Those will start smelting down, and we can't make the steel yet, but when we do come back, we will. Also, I gotta keep my eyes out for some deer. Alright, we gotta be on the hunt. You know why? I don't know. Oh, I could attend to my- f eh, we'll do the farm stuff overnight. Instead of mining underground. Although some underground mining might be useful now that I think about it. After all, ooh, we're running low on water. Well, you know what? That's a problem we could try and solve once we get over to these Himalayan mountains. And we'll definitely stop being overheated. That's for sure. But yeah, I'm thinking we could try and get some water. I mean, I think we could even just, like, get water out of the snow. But I'm interested in going here. You guys see that? That is not your everyday, like, mountain. That thing's on top of, like, a hill in the mountains. 
It's very interesting, and I want to investigate. You can actually see what- Oh my Jesus! Okay, we didn't take fall damage. You can see what appears to be like a town starting to materialize there in the distance, but yeah! I'm excited to finally be heading out in there. I hope you guys are excited as well. I cannot wait to see how things go down. I can't wait to see what happens at day 35 horde. I think that's the number one thing I'm excited for. Let me know what you guys are most excited for in the near future right now. Like, you know I've been talking. You know about the things. Uh, hello, dear. How do you do? You don't see me. What? There we go. Look at that. Oh, one hitter quit it. No, I forgot my hunting knife, didn't I? Can I chop you up with a fire axe instead? It's not going to be as efficient, but to hell with it. I'll take whatever meat I can get. I told you, I will not allow any deer to pass by me. Although some deer will probably finally pass by, but still, you know what I mean. We got a ton of eggs stockpiled at home. I want to put those to use. Look at this place, man. I don't even know what this place is, but it's like... I hope we don't start freezing to death, by the way. That would suck. I have no clue what the hell this place is. But it's on top of a, like, giant hill. What is that? Journey's End? What the hell? What does Journey's End? I am not... I'm scared. I've never seen such a point. And I think I see what appears to be a small town over that way. So I'll actually go and kind of put my quick waypoint there. Looks like there's a road that leads up to here. This is a pretty good vantage point. I might actually utilize this vantage point a little bit. Yeah, what the hell? Journey's end. Well, I'll be damned. Can we even make it up there? I don't think I have the parkour skills required. Oh, I do. What the hell is Journey's end? Is this a traitor? I don't know. I really hope... That this guy is not as tough as he used to be. Oh, Jesus! Look at that. That's so violent. Not as violent as me hitting you on the ground, though. Green sweatshirt. We might start trying to invest in a couple of these. I might actually put on this leather duster here. Because things are going to start getting a little chilly. And, yeah, what the hell is Journey's End? Is this like a ski resort or something? I don't... That's the best thing I'm getting out of here. And the door's locked. Well... Here's Johnny! <laughs> that does not, that's not gonna stop me. But yeah, let me know what you guys are most excited for in the comment section out of everything that you know is coming. Because you guys know, there are a lot of things coming. Sweet mama, it finally appears. That is, what is this? Almost level 50 guys and gals, we just found our first shotgun schematic. That is awful. I can't believe that it took... 50 episodes of this game 33 days for the first one of that to finally appear. I can't believe that like not in a way where I'm angry I'm just like I'm just shocked. I'm flabbergasted Okay, how are you not dead yet? Okay, my friends. I gotta take you out this way then I was gonna let you go out, you know, like the manly men that you are But you obviously don't want to go out that way because you continue to struggle and I don't appreciate that They, they just always look so angry man I'd love to use some shotgun on you. Ooh. Yeah, no shotgun rain for you. Oh, you get the barbed wire mace to the face. How about that? Yeah, they, they got all this, like, nice stuff here. I don't have the re materials to repair. Oh, I think I moused over and hit E on accident or something. Yeah, I want to investigate this place, though. The winter biome. I've never seen such a place. And I'm more than interested in checking it out. Ooh, hello, friend. How do you do? Not good for long, eh? Don't tell me you survived that. Get that the hell out of here. Also, don't wake up. Oh, oh, you just hit the ground. Don't wake up your friends, please. I'm planning on killing them while they sleep while standing up in that weird demented thing that they do. Yeah, that's my game plan. Honestly, you know what I might do? Why don't we switch over to those steel arrows? I think if there's ever a time, now's that time. Now's the time for steel arrows, baby. Oh, God, the satisfaction never ends, does it? I wonder if there's a safe or something here. I don't know. I've never broken into a ski resort before, so I don't know their layout or anything like that. But I'm excited to learn. I'm an excited learner. I'm always excited to learn new things. And yeah, it looks like this is kind of the, the check-in office. They got a, some food and miso. That gives us a little bit of hydration. I'm actually going to eat up both of these. But let me know what you're excited. Oh, Jesus! Where did you come from? Where did you come from? <laughs> that didn't scare the crap out of me. Okay, I gotta repair this barbed wire club soon, by the way. I hope I find some forged iron. Or maybe I could collect some of it soon. Oh my god. Dude, I, I, I haven't fought this guy in, like, this entire alpha. I've deliberately avoided the winter biome. Because I knew what awaited us. And now... We are facing what awaits. Face to face. It's a pretty big, pretty big step for me, you know? Alright, desk safe. 
I'm breaking into you the fun way, Mr. Dust Save. <laughs> I'm breaking into you the over-the-top way. This is how you break into stuff, guys. This right here is how you super easily and quickly break into it. I wish we brought more gas, but uh, we'll be fine. We're fine. All right, what you got for me, Dust Safe? A hunting rifle receiver. God, that sucks. But yeah, back on topic before I lose myself again. Let me know what you guys are most excited for out of the things I've been talking about. Or even let me know in the comments what you are excited to hopefully be able to convince me. Or, you know, that of hopefully I'm able to do. Because there's a ton of things that I would love to do. Is there a secret compartment there? That looks like it could have been a secret. There's a ton of things that I would love to be able to do. Oh, good morning, nurse. How do you do? I might not search through all the individual rooms. That seems like a lot of work. Oh my god, what is she doing? She was all over that wall. She had personal feelings for that wall. You see the way that she went all up against this sweet mama? That's not appropriate. That's not appropriate, nurse. That's why you had to die. You were being inappropriate in my video. I don't appreciate such things. Hey, ammunition and some tuna. Hey, not the tuna, dude. I love the tuna. Oh god, they're doing the zombie shuffle. That's what that's called. The thing where they make that weird ass noise because they don't know how the, they forgot how to use their legs and stuff. Yeah, here's some zombies doing the shuffle. Hello! I'll take some of those. So, I mean, the ski, res ski resort so far, it's been cool. Has it been worth it? I don't know. Very cool, though. Didn't I start building in one of these uh, for one of my alphas? It's bringing back, like, memories, you know? Oh, away with your face. I just gave you a nice little haircut there. Give you a nice little trim with my barbed wire. Away with your face as well, businessman. Oh, you got potatoes. Isn't that sweet? Little potato farmer, are ya? Alright. Let's head out of here before these zombies continue this shuffle. Whatever this place was, I don't know. Did I find what we were looking for? I don't really know what we were looking for. I was looking for... Oh, hello! Is that a... That's an entirely different... Oh! We got a big old tourist. Hello, tourist. I'm gonna try to say hello to you really quickly. By the way, if I leave this before checking out any of the awesome parts of the ski resort that maybe I missed, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not trying to miss any fun stuff here. Get the hell out of here. I will break your kneecaps. Your kneecaps are mine, eh? Get over here. Okay, I don't know what that tourist is doing. Ah! Where did you come from? Sweet mama, you know how to scare the bejesus out of men. How did that not hit you in the face? Stop stamping towards me all menacingly. I don't appreciate it. Away with your face. No, not just your body. There you go. I needed your face to go. You know what? Why am I even fighting this? To hell with it. There's not even anything that good. Oh, no. I should not corner myself. Nothing good over there besides food. To hell with it. I'm done with the ski resort. I'm going on a different vacation. I didn't like the vacation package I got here. I could have done better. Obviously did not do good enough. Back out on the mini bike. But yeah. Yeah, I think this used to be a ski resort or something. There we can see our beautiful town in the distance. Hell of a lot bigger than what we're seeing here. We should be careful not to go off any steep cliffs, though. I am not trying to break everything. Uh, what is that? Another ski resort there? Appears that it might be. Appears that it might be. Wait, doesn't this road have to technically connect back to a road? Ooh. We might come back. That's just a normal old house over there. I don't think we're missing anything. Sweet freaking mama! What is this? What is this? I don't- I'm not Spider-Man. How do you want me to climb up that? You can even see the road in the side of that. Jesus. Okay. Uh, well. We may need to- it's, a, it's like a giant wall. We just found the Great Wall of Seven Days to Die. Look at this damn thing. Sweet mama. How long does it go? Honestly, to hell with it. This is for science at this point. I don't care if we get anything good out of this adventure. What the hell? What the? What the? Why? How? Is that just a very elevated road? That has to be what it is. There's no way that's just the side of a cliff, is there? I think... I... I... I don't know. What? This is... This is worth exploring. I'm intrigued. What is that? Is that town number two of our split town? Yeah, that's town number two over there. Speak of the freaking devil, eh? Oh my god, this is a... Strange place to say the least. I don't know. We're not getting up that. I can tell you that right now. We are not getting up the Great Wall of Seven Days to Die. <laughs> Cause holy hell. I think that might be as tall as the actual Great Wall of China. That is insane. Well, sweet hell. You know what you guys should do in the comment section? Come up with a name for this wall. We can't just call it the Great Wall of Seven Days. 
It's got to be some sort of a wall. We got to give it a cool name. And we got to drive around it. Because right now, I don't think there is physically a way for me to get up this thing. And I, I don't even think I'd want to. I feel like I'd fall and die trying. Whee! Oh, look at those hops. Ow, don't, don't. Let's not hurt myself too badly here. It's a very strange and silly thing, though. It is a road. Look at that. It is literally a giant elevated road. That is so cool. Because could you imagine just building on... Oh, I really want to build on top of that now. Does that make me a bad person? Uh, I don't know, dude. I feel like that'd be so unfair to the zombies if I built up there. Built a base 100% from scratch. Could you imagine? I couldn't. That'd be freaking loco. Although, I'm just trying to get back up there. Because there was that ski resort on the end on the edge of it. I mean, I guess we're going over to this town. But still. Oh. <gasps> Hello, my dear. How do you do? Hello, my dear, dear. This is going right up your butt. Oh, no. Okay, well, I was gonna... I was gonna put it up somewhere, maybe. Would have been inappropriate. Give me your meat, dear! Yes, yes. And your lard. Your lard is very good, too. I'll turn that into, like, candles or something. <laughs> That's how evil I am. I turn dead animals into candles. Oh, look at that. There's a little, like, a riverside road, too. I never actually noticed that. Alright, well, let's continue our journey. But still, that's actually kind of cool. Is that, like, a little... I don't- I don't actually- yeah, I think it connects through there. Dude, that's awesome! That's like Lakeshore Drive! Or like Michigan Avenue, I forget which one it is. It's one of the two, back from Chicago, because I'm from Chicago. That's literally awesome, right by the lake? That's so cool. Just like this winter town that I'm very excited to explore. Now, we might not be able to explore it super in-depth, but we are going to explore it a little bit at the very least. And at least see what has the off- well, actually, no, to hell with it. First things first, I'm trying to follow this goddamn wall! Like, it, there's no reason that this thing should be so elevated. Like, what? This is absolutely nutty. And also, driving off the edge of it would probably literally result in me dying. Look at that. That's crazy. It was like a roller coaster. Look at that over there. That, uh, that, that resort or something. It's like on the side, but it's not elevated at all. What is with this? It seems like such a random glitch to be glitched, but this is... <laughs> It's a great wall if I've ever seen one. Okay, so that's not really... How the hell would we even get to that thing, potentially? What's with all this elevated crap around these parts? Like, I'm, I know I'm wasting a lot of gas, but to hell with it, dude. This is too cool not to waste it on. This is awesome. What is that? Just another ski resort? I, I think that is just another ski resort, unfortunately. Is that Journey's End? Yeah, I think it is Journey's End. Okay, well, really quick. I want to go up this a little bit more. I want to see what's on the other side of the wall. Is it the White Walkers? <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Well, I mean, there's already zombies in the game, so... I mean, I guess there's White Walkers everywhere, but still. You know what I'm talking about. Look at this. All these random little elevated structures. Alright, now... As awesome as that is, we gotta be very strategic with how we turn around. Because I'm not trying to fly off this thing, alright? Listen, roller coasters are designed to keep their riders on the track, so I'm gonna do my best to become a roller coaster. It's always what I wanted to be when I grew up, a roller coaster. I don't know about you guys, like, maybe some of you guys wanted to be attack helicopters. Maybe some of you guys also shared my love of roller coasters. Maybe some of you guys wanted to be some cinder blocks. I don't know, but that's always what I wanted to be. So through seven days to die, I am able to live my dream. Because, I mean, in real life, you know, certain obstacles came up. Like, I wasn't safe enough and like, Star, you can't be a roller coaster. I'm just like, not with that attitude. But then they told me it doesn't matter what attitude you have, unless your attitude's made of steel. And I'm like, I will work towards it. So far, it hasn't been the most successful venture, but still. <laughs> Alright, let's check out a bit of a sneak preview of this town. I'd love to see what it has, and then we'll start making our way towards home. Like I said, we'll tend to the farm overnight. But right now... What the hell? Is that a volcano over there? Oh my god, if there's a volcano in seven days... I wonder if there's any unique locations here. I know I see a couple of just normal buildings. That one's kind of wider than usual. That might be worth checking out. We got some churches. This, is, this looks like a kind of a cute little small town. I wouldn't... I This isn't a big town. This is definitely a small town. It's kind of cool. But I don't even know if this would be worth totally looting. There's probably a couple of stores maybe, but we had the cafe. I guess the cafe's okay. We got a neighborhood up there. We got just another generic building here. And this actually goes for quite a while, doesn't it? Goes a little bit here. You know what would be awesome? What if they had like a harbor point of interest? 
and seven days to die, you know? Like, it, it was, like, only next to lakes and stuff, maybe? That'd be cool. Uh, but the road continues on over here. This is a really weirdly structured town with a lot, like, it, it feels like the suburbs right here. This looks like a, this feels like a su little suburban, wintry town. I am keeping track of my gas, by the way. But, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of dead ends. You know, this is, this is like, these are freaking lake houses over here. God damn. Talk about living the life. Whoever was here when, they probably just drove away on their boats. Honestly. I wish I had a boat. A boat would be cool. Actually, I don't, I, don't, I wouldn't really care about a boat. If I had enough money to buy a boat, I would just put that money towards buying a really nice sports car. Because I love cars. They make me happy. I don't know about you guys. Maybe I'll ask you guys about cars in the future. Is that the toxic, uh... Is that toxic land? Is that the biome that will kill us if we go into it? Or no? Well, that's like a darker shade. It's a little bit lighter. I don't know. Is that is that the one that could actually irradiate us? I am... What the hell is this shed? Talk about a weird little shed. Oh, hello. Uh, a little storage place? Okay. Well, there's a uh, little something that interests me over there. So I'm going to kill you real quick with a stone arrow. Good night. Uh, this right here interests me. See, I thought maybe this would be like a secret entrance to a bunker. I really hope we can still find ourselves a bunker. I don't- I have freaking air conditioner, man! It is plenty cold here. I do not need some more AC in my life. But, hmm, it'd be cool if there was a bunker somewhere around here. Like, I think- you guys have still told me that supposedly, back here, I still do want to check this out at some point. Jesus, we have explored so much at this point. Supposedly, this thing might be a bunker. I'll still go back and check on that, but yeah. So far, this town is not that impressive. It just, it's, it feels like a town with nothing at all special in it. Like a lot of these buildings we're seeing are just very normal and sweet mama. Talk about a roller coaster. Oh, we started going way slower when we hit the bottom. Well, damn. Uh, yeah, the most interesting thing here is probably the church. I never thought I'd say that in seven days to die, but I think, yeah, the most interesting thing here is either the cafe, the pill store, or the church. This is the definition of a small town, and we're starting to freeze our booties off. But none of these roads lead anywhere. Like, there is this one side road, maybe that leads somewhere interesting, but other than that, this just continues snaking off somewhere into the distance, so... Who knows what the hell's going on? But other than that, so I'm gonna continue riding the motorcycle, we're gonna make our way back home, tend to our stuff. The roads around here are quite strange to say the least, but yeah, nighttime's about to hit, so I'm gonna kind of bust my booty, get my way back home, stop freezing too. The whole freezing thing is not a whole good, I don't like it, I don't like hypothermia, I like normal thermia, and right now my thermia is not normal, so I gotta go deal with that. But other than that, it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me. Thank you guys all the time for watching again. I'm wishing, hello dear, how do you do, how do you do dear? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, you can die a special way. What? There we go. Yeah, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Uh, seriously, hope you're having an amazing day. Unlike this deer, this deer had the opposite of an amazing day. I just shot two bullets into it. But I'm collecting its meat for those bacon and eggs, baby! Ooh, those bacon and eggs are gonna be delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Why? Is this- am, am I being hijacked here? I- I sure as hell hope not, cause I gotta start driving! But that's gonna wrap up me. Again, I wish you guys nothing but the most fan fantastic day in the world. Seriously, hope is going awesome. But that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of 7 Days of Night. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.